Overstimulation. If you want the short version, this album is good because overstimulation. If you want to, you can go now. You done it before. Time after time. Refuse to learn your lesson. You I you know, it always happens to me that my brain always needs constant overstimulation, but sometimes I just say, I don't want to listen to anything. I just don't want to listen, do anything at all. But here's the thing. When I don't have that constant overstream of information, my body gets weird. My heart says, I'm going to explode. And my vision says, I can see anything. And my extremities start to tingle and I get heady. Just My point is, sometimes you don't want to listen to anything. Um, you just, sometimes you just need a constant stream of overstimulation uh, to keep your brain occupied. And this album works for that. Metal Machine Music by Low Red, Low Read, Low Read. A complete sea of absolute cacophony is bombarding you over and over for a whole hour. There is no progression, no legitimization, there is no space to breathe in, there is nothing. It's just a bunch of noise. And yes, it's good. It's really good. Nowadays we have stuff like... Uh, I don't know, brain riot memes and stuff like that and... <laughs> but here's the thing, because all those sounds and videos keep recalling other memes, your brain just can't take a break. It's always going back to understand the reference. It's, it's really annoying. You might play it and say it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell is this? Are you making fun of me? And I get why would you say that it's not music per se, it's sound. But there is actually a scene for this stuff. Um, maybe... Uh, Japan? Maybe? There is a demand. I, I can assure you of that. Here's the thing though, that most of the stuff they sometimes do and those scenes kind of reek because the the textures man is they're so harsh they they are like like taking a fork on a plate or cutting your teeth with paper and it's just so bad and i say to myself i know that usually high frequencies don't really hurt your ears they are not supposed to just loud sounds but they, they, they most of the time feel like they are hurtful to me and just like, no. Metal machine music is more like ambient, like very busy, busy, very noisy ambient. The textures are never like, but like my, more like, I usually find stuff that is as noisy as metal machine music if it's a guitar or a instrument improvisation instead of a power electronics or feedback stuff that I like more the improvi the instrument kind of noise and what this album has is actually pretty unique it's a symphony a symphony in a sea of copper with so many mechanical creatures and fishes the sound feels so bright so bright it's like being grabbed in light and it's just beautiful. I'm not saying that you need to have that need for overstimulation that I do. It's a very beautiful work of noise and sound of its own. But you probably won't enjoy it as much as I do if you listen to it. So let's see it this way. Metal machine music is the other side of the coin of Tick as a Brick. Tick as a Brick is the sea of melody. Metal Machine Music is the sea of sound. And actually, I had an idea for a spiritual successor for this record. I will take a random YouTube video or a TV show or whatever. I will take the audio of it, midify it, and then that MIDI file pass it through a VST or a plugin. And that will create that chao chaotic, chaotic sensation of... Uh, metal machine music and then I will just layer several of those tracks on top 
of each other and that will create the vast sea of sound sensation and then i said and then i said that's good i like it but we could take the concept a little bit further a little bit further what if in the second track we don't use a random video or a tv show but we use an actual melody and in the third track we use two melodies and two noise tracks and then in the third track fourth track i will use I could use just a sea of melodies instead of a sea of random sounds. So it will feel like you are making sense of the jungle, of the sea of sound, like understanding. It's like in that John Carpenter movie where he just hears the language of Mars and then make he makes sense of it later and can speak it. It, it, was, it was a movie where he's in the desert and he jumps very high and i don't remember what else happened after that guy got bored but anyway i said that's a great idea for an album a nice uh, nice noise album nice noise record and then i just haven't done it i haven't done it yet uh, my brain just moved on for something else i said i could do that noise record today but then my brain says yeah, but we have to read and do consume other media and stuff to feel happy. And I'm like, okay, fine, I will do it maybe next week. And it has been like two years already. Anyway, great record. Goodbye.